Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going over deconstruct Vera, which is this uh, component. It looks like a uh, cylinder on fire. And so what I'm going to show is how to use this. So I created a sphere and a box around it. And now I'm going to hide the sphere just so we have that box. And deconstruct Vera will take this and basically explode it into all the different components. So we can hide this one and see what we have left over. What we have are all the points, vertices in each corner. We have all the faces on this one at six and all of the edges, which are all the lines that go, um, that basically outline the box. And so one of the things we could do is put a sphere at the vertices, let's say, and we can give it a radius of 12. And now we have a box with some spheres at the corners and we can do a difference solid difference and subtract the spheres from the box and now we can you know we have the ability to create some interesting geometries that we can now um, use for our designs and I'll give you an idea of, uh, of you know some of the applications for this so I've gone ahead and made um, made this a little bit smaller because I want the geometry, the the structure that we're going to create with this to be larger. And so I've gone ahead and created this, um, not this one. Uh, I've gone ahead and created this dome shape that is, um, you know, designed and made. Uh, you can kind of adjust um, the design depending on this. But that's not the point. The point is to show you that I've created that dome and using paneling tools. I have a set of grids here and another set of grid. And as you can see, we have kind of these boxes that we've created um, around it, around that dome. And I can show you that if you're interested in a different, um, in a different tutorial. Uh, but for now, what I'm gonna do is take that panel that we created and we want to morph uh, 3D list. Uh, what we do is, no, it's actually morph 3D. Um, and so what we wanna do is Put the first grid, this first grid, second grid on the second grid. We can actually get rid of this one right now. Um, and we're going to put the pattern objects. Now we can go to that for our pattern object. And as we can see, that this uh, geometry is going to be put all the way around um, the whole, you know, the whole design. And what's cool is using this deconstruct B rep. We can increase the radius and we can see that um, this will adjust accordingly. Sometimes you want to create the the panels to be also parametric, not just something that you create in Rhino and that you uh, bring into uh, Grasshopper. So as you can see, it creates those and we can even go further and um, and and, you know, create uh, crazier designs. So. I'm gonna you know, give you an idea of another cool thing you can do with this. So using the same deconstruct uh, B rep, we can actually go to um, the vertices here, which are the points, plug them into there. And when you uh, get the list item of zero and item of six, we have the opposite lines that are um, the opposite points. So we can actually create a line uh, with two points, starting and ending point and we can get the center, so polygon center. And that way we can also create a sphere right in the middle. And so all of this will actually scoot over here. Whoop. Let's actually ungroup this. Let's bring this all the way over here and just say, and put this also inside of the base. So now um, this center point is also gonna create uh, sphere in the middle, but we need to make it a little bit larger for it to clip all the way. So as you can see, we created some interesting geometry here. It's actually hollow inside and has uh, some points. So let's see what type of result this gives us uh, by, um, you know, applying it to here. So I have disabled it. Now I can actually go ahead and group this again. Put that here and now we have that object that is going to be put throughout the um, the entire structure in between the point grid 
So it did take a while for it to finish um, processing this, but as you can see, it created a really cool pattern. It is a pretty complex geometry that we created here in the middle, uh, but it was all due to being able to use this deconstruct BRAP using the vertices and all of the edges. Um, also creating this dome geometry that I will go over in a different tutorial. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Here is what it looks like baked um, as the final result. And uh, hopefully uh, you learned something for this quick tip and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.